Good morning, Clara. It is Tuesday, March the 1st, 2011. And, you know, Granny's been sick, and I may be coming down with a little bit of something, so my voice is a little lower than normal. Uh, I'm trying not to come down with it, but we'll see how this goes over the next couple of days. I've been telling you about my pets. And by the way, I'm at, I'm at uh, my client's today. I had a wonderful breakfast with my buddy, and I just was running a little late, so I thought, oh, I'll just take this into work and just do this before I get started to work. Anyways, I've been telling you about my pets, and a long time ago, I told you about my dogs, and I told you about the mice, and the bugs, and I told you about the crabs, and by far, the coolest pet that I ever had was my monkey. I had a monkey growing up when I was in uh, my uh, junior high years and, and teenage years in there. I can't, I can't remember how long I actually had the monkey for. Um, but he was cool. His name was Bobo. And the people who gave the monkey to me had named him Bobo because that was the name of President Marco's son. So there was a little political undertone to that. But I was a young man. I didn't really care. So I kept the name Bobo. And it's really, really interesting having a monkey because I would come home and the monkey would be so happy to see me. And I would go out on the back porch and, the, and lean up against the back railing and the monkey would come and sit in the little crook of my arm and he would look at my freckles and think there were little bugs and so he'd try to pick them off and then he'd look through my hair. And <laughs> Monkeys are fascinating, fascinating pets. And I'll tell you about uh, my monkey in, in later broadcast, but then I'll also tell you a story. Uh, it's not funny, but it really is funny. <laughs> and it can teach us something about life, about a buddy of mine. He had a monkey, and I have told this story over and over again. So we'll talk about that later. As always, remember, I love you. Okay, I didn't get it stopped. <laughs>